So why is this relevant to Malaysia, to Southeast Asia, to Asia Pacific? Well, look around you. Malaysia itself is a highly diverse, multicultural society. Uh, look at Asia, the most diverse continent on the planet. So diversity is a reality of everyday life uh, for everybody in Asia. In the context of work, what can you as a leader or a manager do um, with all the information I've shared today? Um, you know, the thing to remember and one of the things we try to promote here at ICLIF is authentic leadership and the fact that leaders are made, not born. Uh, so knowing the tools to master to be a good leader is the first step of really knowing how to unleash the full potential of your workforce. So what can you as a leader do to integrate um, diversity and inclusion in your workplace? Uh, as a leader, there are really three main areas uh, for you to focus on. Uh, the first one is around authentic leadership, something we really try to integrate in our curriculum here at ICLIF. Uh, what do we mean by authentic leadership? It is really walking the talk. So look around at your direct reports, look at your talent pipeline. Does it look as diverse and inclusive as you would like it to be? And secondly, communicate and celebrate. As you become a leader, as you advance in leadership, celebrate and communicate the importance of diversity and inclusion in your organization. Celebrate the successes of non-traditional talent that has um, risen through the ranks, um, whether they be technocrats in a business organization or engineers in an artistic organization. Um, thirdly, make sure that the right culture, processes, and programs are in place so you're in full talent pool can flourish, can realize their potential. In short, diversity and inclusion management really isn't a, merely about fairness or justice or leveling the play, playing field. It is, of course, about all of those things. But in reality, it's about enhancing performance and productivity. And what leader doesn't want to do that for their organization?